Hi guys, uh, Sweet Nails here. I'm going to do a little nail design for you here. Um, so let's get into it. I'm using um, a number 10 oval brush from um, Alpha Brush. forgot where I got it from just for a second there. Okay, so let's just get started. This is just kind of like a, a, a random design I'm going to do. And I'm using my DVD seat um, deep pink here. Yes. Bit wet there. But that's okay. All right. Sorry about the guns in the background. My husband is playing his game, and I did get a little bit of bubbles in this. Okay. Okay. Nice and crisp. I'm going to just let that dry for just a second so I can come in and file it straight. Okay guys, what I've done is I've just waited for it to dry and then I've come in with my file and kind of sharpened up that little smile line if you would like to call it that. Um, I also changed my brush from a 10 to an 8 because it's just, the 10 was just too big for the design that I'm doing, okay? So I'm going to go in with my first color that I've chosen to do, and that is um, a silver glitter mix that I've made. Put it right up to the side, and work it right up to that wall. I'm going to bring this down a little bit to make it straight. Okay. It's kind of hard to see with the light in here. I apologize, guys. Okay. Okay, so I've made like, if you like to call it a little triangle. I wish the lighting in here was better. This is crap. Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to set a little bit. Again, I'm gonna file um, a straight line so I have a nice clean edge, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I haven't filed it. It's just taking too long. So I mean, I've made it as straight as I can. I'm going with my next color. It's actually not a color. It's white. I'm using and it's just my DVD C white okay that might be too much actually I want to butt it right up to that silver.
Okay. Just a little bit more. I'm going to take just took the extra liquid out of the back of that so that I could make it a bit straighter. And this one I am going to file and straighten. A little thick there. But I'm going to make sure that it's straight. And that I have a clean edge. So I'm going to wait for this to dry. And I will file this one. Because I did a bit of a messy job there. Okay. There you can kind of see on the side. Okay guys, I got it nice and clean with that white. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a periwinkle color that I have, or maybe, well, let's do the, I'm gonna do the hot pink. Okay, this is also a hot pink that I have, um, that I've made. I'm gonna put that right up. Bring it down. Push this up a little bit because I want more of a triangle than a flat shape for the next color. Okay. Now I'm going to sit and let this dry for a second. sharpen this line right here okay okay guys I'm ready to do the last color um, this is a periwinkle color that I have made again this does glow in the dark it glows violet and it does have a bit of a shimmer to it as well so I'm just going to, again, butt that right up. Right up to that pink. Did. Now I'm probably going to do some um, paint or something on it or a little design that I'm not sure as of yet, but yeah. Okay. Okay guys, I have decided to put a little bit of mylar on this pink, so I'm going to do a design. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab just, just a tiny bit of clear and put it on top of here and then put the mylar on that. Okay. A little bit more acrylic. Oh my goodness. Sorry about all the garden fire in the back, guys. Sure there's some nice cuts on here. See the different mylar pieces. Oh, come on, mylar piece. put that on. I'm only doing that section, I think. Yeah? Or do I fade it up? Maybe I fade it up a little bit. I'm just going to go with it, guys. So I'm not making any specific design. I'm just kind of, like I said, going with it. <laughs> I think I need a little bit more mylar here. Yeah. Okay, that's all like stuck on there. That's good. I think I need another piece, actually. I'm just going to throw a little bit of mylar down here. And this is the pink mylar that I'm using. Nope, I need more acrylic because it's already dried. Alright, and I'm just grabbing just the tiniest little bit. You can see that on the brush. Don't need much.
All right, I think that's good enough. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to encapsulate the whole thing with clear. And then file, and shape, and then I'll be ready to paint. There it goes. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I totally. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I uh, made you go flying there for a second. My brush kind of just flipped you guys off. My little tripod. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Like being at a theme park, I guess. All right. All right, I think I am good. I'm just going to wait for this to dry. I'm going to file it and then I'll be back to the design. Okay guys, um, I filed it and smoothed it out with a little buffing block and now I just have some little bit of uh, white acrylic paint um, and I've diluted it with just a little bit of water so that it's you know a little bit thinner, it's easier to work with, okay? And I'm just gonna start my design. This is kind of random and I actually I'm pretty shaky actually. I'm just doing little rows. So it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Okay, let's... <laughs> Bless you, honey. Has been sneezing over there. Alright, so, you know, just a little basic kind of rows there. I just have some black acrylic paint I'm going to put on here. Just a little bit of water here. I feel like you have a little bit more control when you put a little bit of water in with your acrylics. When you're using it, it just gives you kind of like a smoother, smoother lines. Okay. I'm going to do this little black one right on top of this. Just stuck in that line a little bit. Mm 
Okay. It's gonna have to be perfect. But, there you go. Okay, we'll maybe do another little white one. Move that black out of the way. Just in the corner. Oh my goodness, not a good day to do roses when you're sh so shaky. There we go. Cute with the sign. I'm just going to let this dry for a few seconds and then we'll put the top coat on. Okay guys, I'm just using um, a Nailene um, UV gel top and base coat here. Um, just because it's the first thing that I grabbed. So I'm just going to go over everything. Making sure everything's nice and crisp. I get everything, even the free edge. You can really see that mylar now. Okay. So I'm just going to put this in the lamp and then I will post pictures on Instagram. I hope you guys all like this little design I did. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace out.